ask you, um, you know, we had... Oh, hey, Mark, here. I didn't see you back yeah, there. Sorry. Yeah. We had very high election day turnout yesterday, higher than the presidential election. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think that is? Uh, what, what's the explanation for such high election day turnout after, you know, good, but not that good, early to turn out? Well, a couple of things happened there. In the primary in June, we have 880,000 show up. In the general election, we had um, 970,000. I'm spitballing here. I've got a lot of numbers in my head right now. And we had 1.3 million show up yesterday. Uh, part of that was, again, the president encouraging Republicans not to use mail or early vote options. And some people were just going to skip it altogether. I think what we saw happen on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday was that the areas that had seen depressed turnout compared to metro areas started to show up. And I think there's what happened in some partisan circles, Republican sides, started dawning on them, oh, oh, say, oh crap, we're going to lose this if we don't turn out. So there was a real big push to get people out of the last day. But the Democrats did a very good job of banking their votes early and using the options that have been available to the Georgians for, you know, over a decade. So th there's nothing new here. These are all tools that tools have been available. Coronavirus changed some voting patterns and behaviors. Um, Georgia has, is historically a in-person voting state. So I think part of it is just people getting used to doing it again. The, the threat of coronavirus, while it's going up and some people it's perceived as going down. And just let me say this for the elections workers and the launching of a new system. This state, this office and these counties launched a, the largest new voting system in the history of the United States and did it in record time, executed it well in the middle of a pandemic and had record turnout in each and every election we saw. That is unprecedented, and I want to give a big thank you again to the elections officials and poll workers and elections workers who really worked their tails off to make this a successful election for Georgians. One of the things we haven't heard about in this election is nobody was complaining about lines. Nobody's saying they were disenfranchised. Everybody who wanted to vote had an opportunity to vote, and we feel very proud of that fact. And did you... Have you looked at whether Election Day turnout was higher than expected or lower than expected in Republican or Democratic areas? I haven't had an opportunity to do a, a breakdown by that. We've been trying to just really just stay on the counties and work with them to get sure we get the, like I said before, fast is good, accurate is better. We'll, analysis can come later to see the specifics. We want to make sure we get the right results out to take away the opportunity for people to say that there was fraud and there's questions to be had about these things because these are the results. These are the ballots. We have known since last week, since last Friday, that there were going to be 2,073,000 and some odd votes that were going to be cast in the advanced bucket because that was how many were cast. The president continues to say, oh, they're finding ballots. These were advanced that came out of nowhere. No, we have known that DeKalb County had 171,000 ballots since Friday evening, Saturday morning. So the statements he keeps on putting out there are incorrect, and they undermine people's faith in the election process. And again, this is a bipartisan problem. If you go back and do polls from 2016 of Democrat voters, there are over 50 percent that still believe Russians hacked voting machines to say they flip votes for Donald Trump. That didn't happen. You know what else didn't happen? Dominion machines did not flip votes for Joe Biden. Neither of those things happened. And everybody on both sides of the aisle who continue to make these kinds of claims undermine the election process in the country, undermine democracy, and undermine the, the health of the